Hi, I'm Tassim Monopoly, Cosmetic Chemist and Trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to talk you through the different types of cosmetic butters, their characteristics, benefits and also some of their stability issues when it comes to formulating. Now let's get into it. So I've got a few different samples here of a few different types of butters um, that I have here in the lab and I just wanted to go through and talk you through the different types of characteristics and their benefits and also some of the stability issues they can have when it comes to formulating. So my first one here I'm going to go through is some mango butter. So this is this one here. So as you can see that's quite, it looks um, relatively like a soft butter. It's not crumbly and it's quite smooth. In texture as I said earlier this one's a soft butter so it also has a low melting point so the benefits are that it's, it has a really good skin feel and because of its low melting point it pretty much tends to melt uh, at skin temperature so as soon as it touches the skin it tends to melt into the skin which is really good now another soft butter I have here which is quite a very popular and well-known butter is the shea butter as you can see that's another very smooth looking butter this one is also soft as well and this one also has a low melting point as well. It's got really good skin feel and it also melts at that skin temperature as well. Now, a stability issue when it comes to shea butter is it sometimes can cause balling if it uh, cools uh, slowly. So you do need to be careful about that. My third one I am gonna show you is the Kapuasu butter by Citrol. So this is another soft butter here. As you can see, it does look a little bit more crumblier and not as smooth as the shea and the mango butter, but this is also a soft butter. It also has a low melting point of about around 30 degrees. And some good benefits that it has when it comes to formulating or skin benefits and or hair benefits is that it's got really good water absorption. So that increases hydration and moisture, obviously. It's also really good for dry skin and also dry and brittle hair. And it also tends to add a bit of shine into your hair as well. So it's good to add in things like hair mask conditioners, those types of hair products. My next one I am going to be showing you is the Muro Muro Butter, by, also by Citrol. As you can see here, this one looks a little bit more crumbly, a lot less smooth than all the other butters I have shown you. Uh, so this one is a solid butter, but it has a low melting point of about 30 degrees. So this one also increases hydration and moisture. It's a really good hair conditioner, so great for your hair care products. And it also has some film forming benefits as well. So really good for hair care, leave-in uh, products also, because it's going to create a really nice fil film over the hair to you know, protect it from things like environmental damages, like the sun or pollution and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to put that protective coat over the top of the hair. And the last I'm going to show you is another hard butter, which is the Okuba butter by Citrol. So as you can see here, this is even crumblier looking. Now this does also have a low melting point of about 32 to 37 degrees and it has quite a few benefits actually. It's got a really nice velvety skin feel uh, to it when it's put in some products. It also strengthens that epidermal barrier. It also increases hydration of the skin. It's really good for dry, brittle and weak hair uh, as it tends to keep water in the hair. So again, it's really good for hydration and moisture, not just for the skin, but also for the hair. And it's also good to use in things like hair conditioners and hair masks and other sort of hair treatments as well, especially for the dry damaged hair. Now, another really popular butter I don't have a sample of at the moment, but is um, it's quite widely used is cocoa butter. Um, so this one is also a hard butter. It's got a low melting point though. It's got a pretty good skin feel. Uh, it's got lasting moisture, but another con when it comes to formulating is this one also causes balling if um, cooled slowly. So they're the types of things you do need to be careful of. Now, a few formulating concepts to remember when using butters in your formulas is you shouldn't be using more than 10% low melting point butters in formulas because this can actually impact the hardness of a product in different types of climate. So your low melting point uh, butters are things like your shea and your mango. As just an example and it does have different effects in different climates so for example a soft butter can set uh, quite hard in cool climates but it can completely melt or go extremely soft during warm climates so those are the types of things you do need to take into consideration when formulating uh, with butters some butters can also leave a greasy and heavy residue either on the hair and also on the skin as well which may not be desirable to consumers depending on what type of product it is 
Uh, natural low melting point butters can also go grainy in formulas or ball up, which is what we spoke about earlier. Um, and this is due to the different types of fatty acids that they possess. We do actually have a video on how to fix balling when it comes to formulating with butters. The link is down below if you are interested in having a watch of that, if you're getting any types of issues with balling when it comes to butters. Some high quality or exotic butters can also be quite expensive as well. So depending on your price point and obviously your budget for development, you will need to obviously look around and see which one would be best suited to you. There are quite a few choices for either low budget or a higher budget. These ones here at the front by Citrol, they are more of like an exotic butter, whereas your Shea, your Mango and your Cocoa butter, they're really um, widely used. They're quite popular. They're very easy to source and they're also quite cheap as well. Now, butters are a great addition to many different types of personal care products, just to name a few, body butters, lip balms, lipsticks, and also body balms. We do have a lip balm video you can also watch too if you're interested in playing with a few different types of butters in a balm. Overall, butters are a great addition to a lot of different types of personal care products. As we spoke about earlier, they all have different types of benefits depending on what type of butter they are. They have good skin feel, they're also good for hair, and they've also got other amazing benefits like adding shine to hair, film forming, and so on. They are something to consider when it comes to formulating. Now, if you do want a copy of this summary table, we will give this to you for free. Please make sure you email us with the email that's on the screen and we will send it to you for free as well as all our other free formulas, uh, presentations and reports as well. Now, if you enjoyed today's educational video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.